The root mean square is an important idea to talk about when you're looking at AC voltages. Let's pretend you have some AC voltage source. And you know that it sort of, right, is going to look like a sinusoid. An interesting question to ask, for example, would be if you have some voltage source V of T that's purely sinusoidal and you've connected it to a resistor of resistance R. This is V of T with some frequency omega. What is the power that's dissipated? How much energy, right, is being, is being radiated through, right, is lost through this resistor? And what would be the equivalent DC circuit representation? What would be the equivalent DC voltage source such that the same amount of power would be lost through this resistor with this different voltage that's constant than if we did the same thing here with V of T that's assigned. Now I'm not gonna go through the mathematics of this. It's not that important. It's actually a relatively easy problem to solve because power that's lost through a resistor is, right, power P is just V squared over R or VI, or any of these things. I squared R. So if that's the power, then you could set up the equation that tells you what power is for V of, for any given V of T with a sinusoid, where you have where you have V of T. Well, you know, you know let's just why not? Well, we can just do it. It's not that hard. Let's say V can be described V of T for the sinusoidal function can be described as some VAC times cosine omega T. And we would have to then take this and either multiply it by current and the current is just this divided by R, which is just V squared over R. So we would square this, divide it by R, and that would tell us the power going through the system. Then we would figure out how to take that same term and calculate just the, a single variable V out of it, and that would be the way to derive the equivalent voltage. I'm not going to solve this because it's just a math problem, so I've set it up for you here. The answer is that it's the root mean square value of the voltage source, the VRMS. This is often termed as RMS. And what this means is that for some function that's sinusoidal, There's some DC value such that this VRMS is going to give you the same power dissipated as the VAC. And for a purely sinusoidal wave, with amplitude VAC, the VRMS, so for sinusoidal, if we have V of T described like this, then VRMS is equal to the VAC divided by root two. If you don't believe me, you're welcome to go and prove this out yourself and that it is indeed the same. If you look at the power dissipated of this 
v squared over r, it's the same as vac over root two, uh, if you had applied it over the DC circuit. So this squared times um, divided by r. And the reason this is useful is because when you are looking at impedance and you're using the impedance version of V equals IZ, this relationship is one, only true in steady state, meaning once the system has stabled and all of the things have charged and there's no more transient flow happening. And two, this V and I are not the time varying ones. They are the RMS values. It's VRMS and IRMS. That is held as a relationship that's true, not the actual sine curve. Why? Because we looked at that in the, preview, in, in, in the lecture on phasers. They're not necessarily in phase at all. Right? It isn't true that when V is going up, I is also necessarily going up. It all depends on the phase of the impedance. But what is true, regardless of the phase shift of the impedance, is that the root mean squares of V and I are related by the impedance. And so the impedance version of Ohm's law takes a complex impedance here and relates them to the root mean square of the voltages and the current. Important, subtle distinction, but it is important to know because that's how you can sort of think about sinusoidal currents and voltages as DC elements because that's really all that's sort of happening over time so long as things aren't changing. If things are changing, all bets are off, but in steady state, This is true. And the RMS simplification makes life very easy, a lot easier than it otherwise could be.